Hey, what's happening? This is Smokin' Joe, and this is the Sunday Joe Show. And we're gonna be going over that swing of mine that I invented. It's called Joe Mama's Spanky Spank. And that's a long story behind that. But what it is, is just basically taking advantage of gravity and momentum and putting them together and using them in a golf swing. Um, I have the Joe Show on YouTube and the um, my little Joe practice on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. So check those out and my uh, website is joepractice.com. Uh, I've been doing some singing. I'm uh, trying to get over at the Encore. I have experience working in casinos. I uh, moved to Vegas to turn pro as a professional fighter and I worked at the California Casino as a cook in the help hall. I worked the graveyard. My uh, Saturday was uh, Wednesday. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some gravity mo uh, momentum swings. Um, how that goes is I use my baseball swing. I open to the target. I make one circle. I try to stay in my, in my slot here. So I make one circle. I'm trying to be lively. On my second one, I come into it. The winds, this is going to be nice though because the wind's blowing. These hip ropes are nice. They get lively when it's windy. So I'm going to um, pretend that that's a little rat motherfucker and I'm going to send it for a ride and I'm going to be practicing my swing um, for when I get out there and I play uh, real golf. I uh, just invented this uh, maybe a month ago and I used it in the field over at Whalen and it's like, it works. I'm telling you, it's easy to, um, to master this move too. Because what you're doing is you're lifting the club here. So what I, I do, I'll show you my, my grip. I use it like a hammer, but you know, I, I hold the hammer differently. I like to come into it like a strong grip, you know, anything around here. You can see that I got calluses on my hands. I've been swinging so much. At least I've taken at least, uh, I'd say three million swings on this since uh, 2012 every day. That's how I get my exercise now. So anyway, I'm going to work on that gravity and momentum, the, the hinging of our body. We're going to come into that. So that's the way we're going to come into the ball. Like we're hitting like a hammer on a on a nail all right so i'm going to take it from here the move comes from here see that hinge 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 but what i do is i get lazy and i come in low but when you're coming in you're coming into the, the strike at this point so it do, doesn't matter where you can be forward and when you do that you get that little when you come in you get that extra spring right there so you come in you're making that you're making that circle and then you're getting that little tension that connective energy and then you come in you do a little snappy snap and you can do all that with your feet i like to let go like that so that's a full move right there you see that move that's a sweet move you know what i mean just repeating that over and over again you get the tubes going that's like a one-hander that you whip you know what i mean when you're practicing too there's nothing you can do wrong you see i missed that big deal I'm practicing. You know what I mean? Most of the time I'll have the music going. It'll be awesome. You know what I mean? Just taking, you know, some swings. One hand is west of one hand. So you're here. All you're doing is you're making circles, power circles. You're trying to generate that power. Like throwing a baseball. Boom. You're turning into it. You know what I mean? You're doing that little, that little, boom. You know, posting up move. That little springy tension coming from that so you come through at, at anywhere because you're lining it up just swinging for fun you know do that baseball swing that baseball pitch on so you can do that with big swings or little swings so you're here right here, you sw on, on that ball, or you get the ball down there, Oof. right there, you're open, you don't have to turn like this, you get, I couldn't do it, it'd be all over the place, but when I opened up, I was like, ah, no, and then I, I started, first I started doing that one top down movement, and I come that way, I come down, slow down, slow down, Oof. but now I'm here. You can't do that with anything else but a hit roll. It's the only thing that'll hold up. You know what I'm saying? And this is a hit roll for punching. So I invented this in 
pretended it was someone's chin. So I invented this and pretended it was someone's chin. And I would, and I live, grew up living in apartments. So I would hang this and I would practice my punches. And then when I found out that the chin, when I went to the Olympic Training Center, they tra trained us because I was one of the, on the US boxing team or I was trying out for the US boxing team. And that's a long story. They told us how to knock people out. So I'd practice on this all the time. So that's just how you do it. Remember how I wish we were doing that? So you're at the end, of, your range is here, right? Our feet are together. There's a big scary monster. This is going to be him and he's going to come into our range. He's way down there. He's a mile down there and he's coming for us and he's fucking bullshit. And we're in concrete right here, feet together, right? Remember our range is right there. That's where we don't have to step but we can come into that. See, we're blocking, 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 right? We've got to make sure we know how to block. We're using these, we're using our arms, we're using these like two by fours with spikes on them. Blocking, we've got to be able to see those punches, right? We've got to know that range, that range, what's that range? And then we got to know how to kill that when he comes into it. Right, we're blocking, blocking, that's the chin. That's the circuit breaker right there. Bing! And then he goes, doing. Circuit breaker, that's all we gotta worry about, right? Circuit breaker here, circuit breaker here. All right? Reps, reps, turning, remember. It's our range force field, blocking, 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 baseballs, right? Throwing baseballs at you. Blocking, blocking, blocking. Boom, boom. Here, hooks, right? Wow, wow. I've got my feet together. Toys, toe, toes are pointing towards you, right? I'm vulnerable, but am I? Right? So he's coming at me from a mile down there. I'm practicing. When he gets close, I know exactly where my range is to him. I'm putting my head down. I'm submitting to him. I am. I'm going to submit to him. I'm going to ingrain in his body. I'm going to implant in his body that I am nothing. And he's going to just go, ooh, and get me. But if he does that, I'm going to go, boink, <laughs> which I've done a lot. <laughs> boink, boink. And he's going to go, eh. That's what I'm going to hope for. Happens 99% of the time. Boink. Remember, they go, oh, I'm going to kill you, Q's. And you go, boink, 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 boink. Hit rope. So you need to be a badass motherfucker at the end of your range. I'm up here, far away. We're fighting out here, the end of our range. We don't have to bring them here. We want to be here, 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 here. I'm out there. Boink, boink, circuit breaker. Boink, click, 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 click. Fainting. Boom, boom, boom. Just turning, turn, turning. Breathing, remember, relax. These big scary monsters have a hard time breathing after you go boink, 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 boink. Practice, right? Just practice how to get down, get down. I move his boom, boom, boom. So if he doesn't come in like this, I have to draw him at me fast. I have to go one, two, and then down. One, two, down. One, two, down, and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a football move on him. I'm gonna block him. So I'm gonna catch him right here, my signature move. So I win, I go one, two. They're coming at me with the momentum. Remember, I'm like 190, I'm fighting guys 250. 
and then boom, and then doom. And then they would drop, I'm telling you. I have witnesses to that. So boom, boom, down, boom. Boom, boom, if you can't get him to open up for you. You know what I mean, that's what you want. You wanna hold the ground, drop your eyes, know what you're doing, draw him in, hope he fucking sucker punches your arm, which opens up to you, and then you just drop him. You have to be very, very, very calm. And you have to have a big set of coconuts, you do. But if you do that, all you gotta do is boom, comes up from your feet, 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 boom. All right, we got our feet together. How are we doing now? On our toes, turn, 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 right? That's how we're doing it. Doosh, doosh, doosh. We're holding that ground, using everything we got in the book. It's the only way we're gonna be able to survive, right? Boom, know your range, your range is here, without stepping. Right? You have to be able to hold your ground there. Right? Practice, 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 practice. How are you blocking those? You're out here. You want to be able to hit him. His chin is his shutoff switch. It's the only chance you got. You can't hurt your opponent. You're done. You're a punch. You end up to be a punching bag. Right off the bat, every time I would be sparring a guy or fighting a guy, I'd hurt him right off the bat. Boom. Like Jay Miller. I thought he was gonna kick my ass. I went up, I made a move, boom, boom. Hit him right on his jaw. I cracked his back teeth. He was like, fuck. <laughs> and then I played with him. But you gotta do it. It's the only way you can do it. You have to be the first one and you have to be professional about it. Boom, boom. And you gotta faint or whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do. But it starts here. Here, blocking, blocking. Making, this is your territory. You get in trouble, boom, boom, down. Mm. Oh, those elbows, those black hooks. You hit a guy on his arm right there with a hook. If he's hooking you and you hit him like that, because I tell you, I was a hooker. I used to have bruises all over my arms because I'd be hitting guys on their elbows. Because you naturally go like this. And you get hurt to the body and you cover up like that. And I would catch guys and I'd be like, oh. For weeks I would hit bolts on my forearms. But that's it, that's what you block. Turn right. Like this arms out. Arms out. Bring them in. Turn them if you want. You can do it any which way. I think the natural hinge is this way for a little flick. You can do whatever you want, but you're trying to make that little snap. Right? Make that little energy snap. You do that by whipping a whip too. That's how you learn it. You take these and you make a whip out. Just exercising. All right, that's it. My wife's here. She's, she said that's it for the Joe show for today. No more lessons. Practice, practice, practice. Remember, every day. Five minutes here, 15 minutes there. Ciao, Bella.